law of diminishing returns. So the first time you have a new boyfriend or girlfriend and you touch hands, like you're sitting next to each other and your hands touch each other, and you're like, oh, you're so excited. It's the greatest feeling in the world, right? And then you rush into that every time you see them, you're immediately touching hands, and then it's not enough anymore, so you start holding hands. And that's like, oh, I don't need anything else. God, I am set for life. But then time goes on, that's not enough. And so then you touch the shoulder, and whoa, a whole new world opens. The shoulder touch. And then your shoulder to shoulder touch, and then you touch the head, and you're like, oh my goodness, this is the greatest thing in the world. And you keep rushing through these steps until you get to things that are obviously spoken against and wrong and supposed to be in marriage. And you start doing these things because you're rushing through these first steps, trying to manipulate something God wants for you, but in the right context. These verses speak to the right context, and it's awesome. This picture up here, it's like fire. Fire is awesome. We love fire. It's, you cook with it. you warmed by it. It's so great. But fire in the wrong context is destructive and causes scars. And so we put it in this brick, and that looks like concrete or whatever that is. But we put it in these ways to control it, and then there's a way to build it. You can, you can just throw a bunch of logs into that concrete pit, put lighter fluid on top of it, light it, and you've got fire. And you're like, oh, I did it, I made fire. But it, that doesn't really last very long. It goes out really quick. You're supposed to build the kindling, put a little paper, then you start with the smaller pieces and the bigger pieces, and then you build something that will last and it's strong and it's beautiful. This is what we do a lot of times with the, the sexual stuff. We rush into these things and we pour gasoline fire and we get the feelings of marriage, we get the feelings that God wanted for us, but not the actual way he said to build it. And therefore, it is very, it's not as good as he wants for you.